DJ Pro has a whole page of settings dedicated to audio device settings. And in this video, I'm going to show you all about them. To get to your audio device settings, you're going to press the middle button. And then if you're in modes, go over to settings. And then it is the first one here, audio devices. Now, the first one I want to talk about is something that a lot of people have been asking me in the comments and people are getting really frustrating. And it has to do with when you're connecting video mode into a TV or a projector. So I tested this out a bunch of times. And what I have found is it, it depends on what you plug in first. So if you plug in the TV first, if you plug in the HDMI to the TV first, and then you plug in your controller, you will be able to, to output the sound from your controller sources and your speakers instead of your TV. I don't think anyone would want the output to be out of the TV. But if you have your controller plugged in first, and then you plug in an HDMI to the TV, it is only gonna show the TV and then you can't change it. So a lot of people in the comments think that there's something wrong and there's no way to change it. It has to do with the order that you plug it in. It might be a glitch or something, but that's what I found. Try plugging in the TV first and then plug in the controller and then you'll be able to go through with the main output. First one that I wanna talk about is going to be our main output. So I'm just gonna plug in my DJ to go to, to touch and show you what happens when we plug it in. So now the controller is plugged in. So we see main output is DJ, DJ to go to touch one and two. Those are channels one and two. And then pre-queuing is gonna be out of three and four. So on this controller, this part over here is the main, is the main output of the controller. So that's gonna be one and two. And then the pre-queuing is going to be three and four. Now we have another setting down here called booth. So what you could do with booth, if we take this pre-queuing and put it into none, we could use three and four as booth. So if, if your controller has limited connections to it, you could use this settings to get different stuff. Maybe you don't want to use headphones with this, but you want to have a booth monitor. If you don't know what a booth monitor does, it's a speaker that faces towards you while you DJ. So you could get the best, uh, so you could hear what the audience is hearing from the speakers that are pointed away from them. The next setting in here is going to be pre-queuing. So like you saw with the controller plugged in, if your controller has a headphone spot for it, then it'll automatically select it. But if you're using one of these, which is an uh, audio device splitter, which will make you able to use headphones if you're just using your iPad, or if you're using a Bluetooth controller that doesn't have any connections. So look at pre-queuing now. I'm plugging in the adapter, and then I am going to plug in, this is the splitter cable that came with the Hercules Control Mix. I plug this in, and then now we go over here pre-queuing. In order to use this headphone splitter, what you have to do is go over here to the setting and select split output. Now you could use the output splitter, you could pre-queue with your headphones, and you could DJ however you want, and the what you want to come out of the headphones will be there. So if you if you tried doing it and you just plugged in the adapter, you have to go to this setting and then change that. Another setting that I want to show you is this one. This one wasn't here before, but when you plug in a controller, when you plug in a controller, it gives you the option to the output to iPad speakers. So if you're just messing around and practicing scratching or just listening to some songs or DJing casually and you just wanna use the speakers from your iPad, this is how to do it. If you don't have this setting on and you have a controller plugged in like this controller, then you might be a little bit frustrated trying to just output through your, through your iPad if you don't have speakers ready to go. Next one is microphone. Now I, I experimented with a bunch of different things. And one thing was I, I experimented like plugging in a regular USB microphone to, and then trying to be able to talk through the iPad, but that didn't work at all. The next thing that I tried is with the controller plugged in, now I'm gonna do none. So we just have the main output at for the controller and then a microphone we can't do. So I've experimented with a bunch of different things and I haven't really been able to get this microphone 
section to work. So let me know in the comments if you guys have figured that out. Another setting that you have here is you could go from internal mixer to external mixer. So when you press external mixer, you have all of these options. Some people like to DJ with the external mixers. Uh, I prefer to keep it on internal. That's the setting that I use. So I made this video mostly to show you guys about the video mode and how to not get frustrated when you connect your TV to your iPad. So if you want a full tutorial on how to connect your iPad to a TV or a projector, check out this video over here. Thank you.